For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. Palantir, the well-known provider of artificial intelligence-powered software, is a great example of a company that is doing exceptionally well in terms of business performance, yet its stock might not be a wise investment due to its steep price. Even though Palantir has been growing and excelling in its core operations, investors must be cautious because purchasing shares at inflated prices can turn even the most successful companies into poor investments. Simply put, no matter how strong a business is, if its stock is bought at the wrong price, the potential for long-term gains could diminish or even lead to losses. However, realizing the massive potential of its technology, Palantir expanded its services beyond the government sector and ventured into the commercial space. This strategic move opened up a significant market opportunity for the company, allowing it to capture a wider range of clients in industries ranging from healthcare to finance and many others. While Palantir has been offering artificial intelligence software for quite some time, the real game changer has been the recent launch of its artificial intelligence platform. This new platform has transformed how companies utilize Palantir's technology. The platform allows businesses to integrate large language models into their own internal systems and servers, enabling these businesses to run generative AI models on in-house data. In other words, it provides real-time access to the most relevant information possible, helping companies make better decisions faster. One of the platform's key features is that it makes artificial intelligence a central and integrated part of the business. Before, AI may have been seen as a side tool that could assist with certain tasks, but now, with Palantir's platform, AI is fully woven into the fabric of day-to-day -day operations. Palantir's management has been vocal about the overwhelming demand for its artificial intelligence platform, referring to it as unprecedented. This surge in demand is particularly evident in the company's U.S. commercial segment. Palantir's commercial business in the United States has been growing rapidly, and the numbers reflect this growth. In the second quarter, U.S. commercial revenue soared by 55% year over year, which is a significant increase by any measure. This impressive revenue growth was largely driven by a sharp rise in Palantir's customer base. The company's customer count in the U.S. commercial market grew by 83% year over year, further demonstrating the widespread adoption of its software solutions. It's important to note that while the U.S. commercial revenue accounts for roughly one quarter of Palantir's overall revenue, the company's other business areas are also performing strongly. Palantir has diversified its customer base, offering AI solutions across different regions and industries. As a result, the company's total revenue increased by 27% year over year, reaching $678 million in the second quarter. This broad-based growth showcases the effectiveness of Palantir's expansion efforts and its ability to meet the needs of a diverse clientele. Looking ahead, Palantir's management remains optimistic about the company's future growth prospects. They have provided guidance that suggests the strong growth trend will continue in the upcoming quarters. Specifically, for quarter three, Palantir expects its revenue to reach $699 million, which would represent a 25% increase compared to the same period last year. This positive outlook highlights the momentum that Palantir is experiencing across its various business segments and the growing demand for its AI-driven solutions. Despite the strong business performance and impressive growth figures, the big question remains, is Palantir's stock worth its current price? While Palantir is profitable, the company has yet to achieve fully optimized profit margins. Because of this, it may not be appropriate to evaluate the stock based on its price-to-earnings ratio. Instead, it's more fitting to use its price-to-sales ratio as a measure of its valuation. At the moment, Palantir's stock is trading at 35 times its sales. This valuation is extremely high, especially when compared to other companies in the tech and software sectors. The last time Palantir's price-to-sales ratio reached this lofty level was back in 2021. However, during that period, Palantir's revenue was growing at a much faster rate of around 40% year over year. Today, the company's growth rate has moderated, and based on current projections, it is expected to slow down even further in the near future. In the next quarter, Palantir's revenue growth is forecasted to be around 25%. Additionally, Wall Street analysts are predicting that Palantir's growth will slow to around 21% next year. Given this moderation in growth, Palantir's current valuation seems increasingly difficult to justify. As a general rule of thumb, when a company's price-to-sales ratio exceeds its revenue growth rate, the stock is considered to be overvalued. This is especially especially true for high-growth companies like Palantir, where investors are often willing to pay a premium for future growth potential. 
However, when the growth rate begins to slow, the high valuation becomes harder to support. In Palantir's case, the company's price to sales ratio is significantly higher than its revenue growth rate, indicating that the stock is very expensive. Palantir's valuation is even higher than what the general rule of thumb would suggest is reasonable. And if history is any guide, a market correction could be on the horizon. This phenomenon has been observed in other software companies that were performing exceptionally well at one point, but eventually saw their stock prices fall once the initial growth phase passed. One prominent example of this is Zoom Video Communications. Zoom experienced explosive growth during the pandemic, as its video conferencing technology became essential for remote work and virtual meetings. However, once the pandemic-driven demand began to normalize, Zoom's valuation dropped significantly. While it's difficult to predict whether Palantir will follow the same trajectory as Zoom, one thing is clear. Palantir's stock is priced at a level that is hard to justify based on its current and projected growth rates. If you are an investor who has seen substantial gains in Palantir's stock, it may be a good idea to consider locking in some of those profits. By doing so, you could reinvest your gains in other opportunities or simply hold on to cash until more attractive investment options arise in the market. In summary, although Palantir's business is performing well and its artificial intelligence platform has proven to be a game changer, the company's stock is currently very expensive. The price to sales ratio is significantly higher than the company's revenue growth rate, suggesting that the stock could be overvalued. Historical trends show that stocks with such high valuations often face corrections, and Palantir may be no exception. For investors who have enjoyed significant profits from Palantir's stock, now might be a wise time to take some of those profits off the table and look for other promising investments. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.